Oh dear, 23 minutes to nine now. And uh, you can see a video of this on our Facebook page. Take a look at the difference between one side of the river and, and the other. It's extraordinary. Herefordshire Wildlife Trust. So removing a mile of trees, banks and gravel from the river lug is a tragedy which has devastated one of the most beautiful and important rivers in the UK. They've launched an investigation into the work which has been done in a protected area and they say will have a huge impact on fish, otters, eels, dragonflies and a host of rare river wildlife. They say repairing the stretch of river in Kingsland will take decades and they're calling for those responsible to be prosecuted. Our reporter Trevor Owens describes what can be seen. I'm standing here on the bridge over the river log just on the outskirts of Kingsland looking downstream at the moment and it's pretty much what you would expect to see the river running beneath the bridge and trees overhanging the bank on both sides. A Typical scene on the River Lug, really, or in most of the other rivers around Herefordshire and Worcestershire. However, if I turn around and look upstream, it is very different. If I cross the road and stand looking upstream, it's clear an awful lot of groundwork has gone on on the upstream side of this bridge. On the right-hand side, there's a basically bare earth, as far as you can see, to the curve of the river beyond. And certainly on the left-hand side, there is evidence of uh, trees having been topped out and also quite a bit of groundwork having been done on that side of the river as well. There's on the right hand side there evidence of a fire still smouldering where presumably some of the branches have been burnt following the work that has been done to remove trees from the river bank. So as I say a stark contrast really to the downstream side where it is exactly as you would expect to see it. Well, our radio car reporter Nicola Goodwin is in Kingsland this morning. Hi, Nick. Morning, Tony. Now, the River Lug, of course, starts in Paris, flows all the way down through Herefordshire until it meets the Wyatt Mordeford. And the entire stretch of the river is a triple SI and a special area of conservation. It should be protected by multiple levels of law. As we've reported a lot over the last few months, there's currently laws in place to stop any major development in North Herefordshire because of the high levels of phosphate in the water in the Lug and the damage that that's causing. Now, the Environment Agency says it's treating this very seriously along with the Forestry Commission and Natural England, and they've taken immediate action in, att in an attempt to prevent any further work at the site. They say they're mounting a wide-ranging investigation with other partners. West Mercia Police say they're working with the Environment Agency to investigate the claims that have been made. Simon Evans is with me on a very cold morning, the Chief Ex Executive of the YNUS Foundation. Simon, how shocked were you to see the levels of the work that's been done? It's 2020. I mean, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. It was, um, it, it's, this isn't of this day and age. It, this, this is, this is how we used to manage our rivers in the Victorian times. It's, we, we, we it, it's been done without any um, care for the wildlife that's there. Are you concerned that if action isn't taken that this could help happen elsewhere and it will set a precedence you can't have this it could be, yes absolutely i mean there, there was a case last year when a similar thing happened on a much smaller scale and action wasn't taken and i think that is what has led to this happening this year now everybody's working together various bodies um do you think any action may be taken or is it too early to say i can't see there are so many rules have been broken here that i i would be very disappointed if action wasn't taken it's freezing this morning. Both of us are shivering. People might say, yeah. but this is the, the sort of time of year to do work like that. But actually, it, this the, is the time that things the, are dormant. The, the salmon had just spawned. So the salmon and the trout had just spawned in the gravel and the gravel has been dragged to the side. The, um, the eggs will have been, the reds have been disturbed. The eggs will have been killed. Um, the trees along the side, it's a wildlife corridor. They were full of bats. Um, it, that, that's gone as well. Um, the fact that you've cut that many trees without a felling license this this it's manifold i'm afraid there's there's a there's a lot of rules that have been broken here and how long would it take for a species to recover would it be months would it be weeks or could it be years or even decades uh for the species that rely on the trees we're talking decades and in your career have you seen anything work like this done not, on such a scale not on the why no I've, I've seen it done in in areas where you're managing it for flood defense where you've got much smaller smaller streams and you put them into trapezoid channels but to to do this on an S ssi it's actually an ssi at this location it's an sac further down but to do this on a site of special scientific interest 
it, I can only say it's 2020. <laughs> it's, it's just that this, this year, it's been ridiculous.